Lesson 3. Using formulas and parameters to retrieve data. Part 1. Using formulas to retrieve data. Open first report. Click select expert and choose record option. Select car and click OK. In the pull down list below the filter fields pane, select is equal to, and from the pull down list that pops up below it, select BMW and click OK. Click refresh data. You can create a second formula. Click New tab and create formula. Select V Transactions Model tab and click Delete. Select is one of option and add a few cars. Click OK, and then click Refresh Data. Delete formula. Part 2. Using parameter fields to retrieve data at runtime. If you can't see Field Explorer on the right edge of the screen, choose View and then click Field Explorer. Right click the parameter fields option and choose the new. Enter a name for the parameter field, and select the data type of the entry. Click OK. Click select expert and choose record option. Select car and click OK. In the pull down list below the filter fields pane, select is equal to, and from the pull down list that pops up below it, select car name and click OK. Type car name and click OK and then click refresh data. Press F5 or click refresh report data option. Choose prompt for new parameter values and click OK. Type car name, click OK and then click refresh data. Part 3. Using the parameters in the title of the report. Insert text object and type sales.
drag car name and drop on title field. Format title object. Press F5 or click Refresh Report Data option. Choose Prompt for new parameter values and click OK. Type car name, and click OK. Part 4. Creating Multiple Values Parameters Right click car name and select edit. Go to the Allow Multiple Values and select True from Settings drop down list and then click OK. Now, you can type a few car names. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit learnwithvideotutorials.com